Our lesson today is slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. So the symbol for parallel, sometimes you will see two straight up and down lines. Sometimes they might be slanted. And the perpendicular, the symbol will look like an upside down capital T. So what we're going to do is first, I guess, the definition of parallel and perpendicular, something you've used before. Parallel means the slopes are the same, OK? Train tracks, they're parallel to each other. Perpendicular means they meet at 90 degrees. So two lines that meet at 90 degrees are perpendicular. So our learning intentions, though, there's one today that we're working with, and that is to use slopes of a line to identify parallel and perpendicular lines. So we can use slopes to determine if we know the two slopes, are they parallel, are they perpendicular, or if we had something that we're wondering if it's perpendicular, we could calculate the slopes to figure out if it is or not. So if we're working with parallel and perpendicular lines and how their slopes are related, um, let's look at the definitions of what makes parallel or perpendicular. So first, parallel lines have the same slope. If one line has a slope that equals 3, its parallel line has a slope that equals 3. Okay? That should be fairly simple. If the slope is negative 4 thirds, its parallel slope is negative 4 thirds, the same. Okay, so that one should be simple. The next one's a little more difficult. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. So, negative reciprocals. Reciprocal, if you mean, is basically when you take a fraction and it flips. Okay, the denominator becomes a numerator and vice versa. And also negative reciprocals. So, if we had two-thirds as our one slope, its perpendicular line to that slope would be first take the reciprocal, which means flip the fraction, and it is a negative reciprocal. So the perpendicular slope to that would be negative 3 over 2. So. Another way to look at this, or a possible thing that may come up in your assignment, is two lines are perpendicular when their slopes, when multiplied together, the product is negative 1. So product is the answer when you multiply. So if we were to multiply these ones I just showed, 2 thirds times negative 3 over 2, you multiply fractions, multiply top, multiply bottom, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, 3 times 2 is 6, reduce that fraction, negative 1. So you can prove two lines are perpendicular by showing this step. If you can show that their slopes multiplied have a product of negative 1, then they are perpendicular. So here's an example of the type of question you're going to see today. Are the following lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? And maybe this could have come on an xy grid, and they showed the two lines and maybe they kind of look like this. So they're obviously not parallel, but are they perpendicular? Is it close? Was it a bad drawing? Well, the way to tell is you could find two points on it, two points on the other one, and then calculate it. Or some questions are going to just give you the points. So this one, if they gave us the points, let's look at, let's erase this to make some space. Let's look at line one. Line one goes through, th 0.35 and 1, 1. I'm going to call this x1, y1, x2, y2. And again, it doesn't matter if I'd called this x1, y1 and this x2, y2, as long as the 1s stay together and the 2s stay together. So my slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's on your form sheet, something we worked with last day. So y2 is 1 y1 is 5, x2 is 1, x1 is 3. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So my slope is 2 for line 1. Now let's look at line 2. Now for this one, again, I have two coordinates. And even though this is point 0.1 and this is point 0.2, I'm doing it in a different spot. So I'm still going to call this x1, y1, 
x2, y2. Um, we'll call that a pen fail. I picked up the red, but put the black back in the red hole. Um, so using this formula again, y2 minus y1. Well, my y2 is 5. Minus, now I have no idea why it's not red, because the red is there. Um, maybe because I've touched the black pen up here. Um, well, we'll use a black pen for now. So, y2 is 1, sorry, y2 is 5, y1 is 6, x2 is 0, x1 is negative 2. Now, let's calculate this. 5 minus 6 is negative 1, 0 minus a minus is plus, so 0 plus 2 is 2, so it's negative 1 half. So, my slopes, they're not the same, so not parallel. They're perpendicular if they are negative reciprocals. Well, one's positive, one's negative, so we got the negative part. Are they reciprocals? They are, because 2 is 2 over 1, this one is 1 over 2, so because they're negative reciprocals, we've proven that these are perpendicular, the two lines that are made up through these points. Now let's determine a slope parallel and perpendicular to following lines. So sometimes these questions, they'll give you two coordinates. So they might have given us the coordinate, I do that every time, um, they might give us the coordinate negative 3, 2, because it goes over 3, up 2, and they might have given us the coordinate 3, 0, or they might have just given us a line. If they give us the coordinates, we'd have to use our formula. Put that in and find our slope and then solve it. But if they give us some lines here, um, we can just solve it by, let's see if that'll work. Um, we can just solve it by finding rise and run. Because remember, slope is rise, over run. So how much is this rising or running? Well, it's going down. And how much is it going down? Well, it's going down 2. So it's negative. And it's rising or running 6. So our rise over run equals negative 2 over 6. Reduce the fraction. Negative 1 third. So determine a slope parallel to this. Well, parallel to it is the same. Perpendicular to it is the negative reciprocal. So again, a negative reciprocal, negative, so change the sign. If this one's negative, ours is going to be positive. And the reciprocal, 1 over 3, the reciprocal for the flip, the fraction is 3 over. Okay, your assignment today is page 349, 3 to 11, and I want you to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it may seem like a lot, but this is, again, one of those things that's very important. And I struggle with this chapter because um, I have a tough time teaching it because it's one of those chapters where, for me, I, I have trouble explaining it in a lot of different ways. And sometimes I just don't get why a student doesn't get it. Okay, so what I need you to do is I need you to get it. So I need you to do A, B, C, D, E, and it'll seem like a lot, but it's going to put it in your brain. And then it will stay there the more you do it. So it may seem tedious. But once you get it, it does go a lot quicker, okay? Um, so please, if you're not getting this, you're going to struggle with the rest of the year. So I really need you to come and see me for help if you're not getting it, okay? And a little treat for everyone. There you go. Good luck.